بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ہیومن ریسورس مینجمنٹ ان ایجوکیشن دس از آور کورس اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس لیکچر نمبر تھری ان دس لیکچر وی ول ڈسکس ٹو ماڈلس ریگارڈنگ ہیومن ریسورس مینجمنٹ دیز ٹو ماڈلس آر مشیگون ماڈل اینڈ ملٹیپل رول ماڈلس آف ہیومن ریسورس مینجمنٹ what is the content which is going to be discussed today first we will discuss the objective then human resource management introduction michigan model hard model external factors then comes the motives of michigan model then what is the process what are different areas to be discussed what are its drawbacks then comes criticism on michigan model and at the last conclusion and then we will discuss multiple multiple role model of hrm what are the objectives by the end of the session we will be able to explain michigan model of hrm hrm or uh, how to explain its motives different areas process drawbacks and factors then how to explain multiple role model of hrm first uh, we see the definition or introduction and introduction of human resource management human resource management hrm or hr is the strategic approach to the effective management of people in a company or organization such that they help their business gain a competitive advantage it is designed to maximize employee performance in service of an employer's strategic objectives human resource management is primarily concerned with the management of people within the organization the people have focus on policies and the people have focus on systems human resource management departments are responsible for overseeing employees benefit designs employee recruitment their training and development their performance their appraisal and reward management such as managing pay and benefit system human resource also concerns itself with organizational change and industrial relations or the balancing of organizational practices with requirements arising from collective bargaining and governmental laws now we we move to the next slide it is it is the introduction it is also the introduction of human resource management human resource ma- management constitutes a system that brings together what factors are brought together through human resource management these factors are human resource policies philosophies sorry then comes strategies then policies then processes then practices and programs there are various models on human resource management which have been developed before that i add some introduction it is a product means human resource management is a product of the human relations movement of the early 20th century when researchers began documenting ways of creating business values to the strategic management of the workforce it was initially dominated by transactional work such as payroll and benefits administration but due to globalization company consolidation technological advances and further research <coughs> now we have previously in the previous lecture i discussed the harvard model today i am going to discuss the michigan model now comes the introduction of michigan model a different view of hrm is associated with the michigan business school there are many similarities uh, with the harvard model which we have previously studied in our lecture but the michigan model has a hard less humanistic edge holding that employees are resources in the same way as any other business is or 
resource. People have to manage in a similar manner to equipment and raw material. They must be obtained as cheaply as possible, used sparingly and developed and exploited as much as possible. The Michigan model is also known as the matching model or best fit approach to human resource management. In a sense, it requires that human resource strategies have a tight fit to the overall strategies of the business. If you see over this slide, it is a different view of HRM and associated with the Michigan School. Second, human resource management model. This I am asking about this Michigan model. Matching model was developed by Hobron, Tiche and Devena in 1984. The Michigan model is also known as the matching model or best fit approach to human resource management. In a sense, it requires that human resource strategies have a tight fit to the overall strategies of the business. <coughs> As such, it limits the role of human resource to a reactive organizational function and underemphasize the importance of societal and other external factors. For example, it is difficult to see how the current concern for work-life balance could be integrated into this model. Then you may see over here that there are many similarities with the Har Harvard model, but it is harder, less humanistic edge, holding that employees are resources in the same way as any other business resource. People have to be managed in a similar manner to equipment and raw materials. They must be obtained as cheaply as possible, used sparingly and developed and exploited such as possible and this I have already told you this is known as hard HRM model means hard human resource management model this is established on organizational structure strategic control and people management system it means that this model was established on the basis of structure on the basis of strategic control and people management system regarding the personnel or people working in any organization. As in a triangle shape, the Michigan model presents the human resource management's internal and external factors. This model considers organizational structure, strategy and mission and human resource management this is the triangle again i repeat that what is the triangle organizational structure strategy and mission strategy and mission and human resource management again i want to clarify the triangle which is considered that is organized number one organizational structure number two strategy and mission and number three human resource management then move, we move to the next slide that is Michigan model external factors these factors are necessarily inclined by three major external factors what are the external factors these external factors are cultural issues economic issues and political issues these issues regards to any organization regards to any country or any other place the organization has to be dependent on the culture has to be dependent on its economy has to be dependent on political issues michigan model told that human resource cycle is influencing organizational as well as individual activity it means organization and individual activities both are influenced by this Michi what are the motives of Michigan model the main motive of the model were, were to 
align the formal structure of the organization, their new strategies and policies with the human resource system. Then the second motive was that this helps to drive the strategic objectives of the organization in a better way. The third point is they saw the employees of the firm as a strategic resource to have a competitive advantage. The fourth one is its elements include selection, appraisal, development and rewards. Then we go to the process of Michigan model. Fabren et al. identified four common human resource process performed in every organization. Number one, selection. Number two, appraisal. Number three, rewards. Number four, development. Selection means how to select the people those people who are matching to the jobs means the right person for the right job then comes appraisal here appraisal means the performance of the people working in an organization then come rewards rewards emphasize the real importance of pay and other forms of compensation in achieving results when people have achieved the results when people are getting the objectives to be fulfilled then they are given rewards these rewards may be pay these rewards may be other compensations then comes the development what is development in this model development means development of skilled individuals these processes are linked in a human resource cycle. You may see over here in this flow sheet diagram. Very first, there is selection. After the selection comes the performance of the people. Then comes the appraisal. In appraisal, there, will, there may be rewards or there may be development. After development, performance is influenced and after reverse, performance may also be influenced. There are different areas of Michigan model. What are these areas? It explains four major areas of following chart. In the previous slide, you have given Number one, performance. It is a major purpose of human resource apparatus. Then comes choosing individuals who are suitable in order to do the works explained by the organizational structure. Then comes performance appraisal to help the fair rewards distribution, inspiring staff by giving incentives and rewards for better performance and training staff to increase working recent activity you have seen that performance it is the major area and then the other area which is choosing the individuals means how people are chosen for the right jobs according to their academic qualifications according to their experience and according to their skills the third area is performance appraisal performance in a in performance appraisal how it is helped for the fair rewards distribution how to inspire the staff how to give them incentives and rewards so that better performance may be achieved if the performance is better then aims goals or objectives for any organization may be achieved then the last area in the Michigan model is training the staff if the staff are being trained then working activities are increased then we move right. right what are different drawbacks of Michigan model the drawbacks of the Michigan model are very first one the model interlinks remuneration assessment 
development and selection implying that there must be a horizontal alignment then the other point is the drawback of this model is that it ignores situational factors what are the situational factors here the interest of the stakeholders and notion of strategic choice in this model the interest and needs and requirements of the stakeholders are ignored then the notion of strategic choice it is also ignored in this model this model emphasizes on market performance and organization growth if we go to criticism on michigan model this matching model has attracted criticism what are the points that at a conceptual level it is seen to depend on a rational mechanical form of organizational decision making but in reality strategies are often determined and operationalized on a more intuitive political and subjective level then another point is certainly the decision making is more complex than the model allows the other point is it is also both perspective and normative implying that the fit to business strategy should determine human resource strategy at the end there is conclusion or summary for the michigan model the first point for regarding michigan model is matching model ensures way to achieve the organizational objective is the applying of above five major functions of human resource management very effectively then this model works and contribution of properly selected human resources has to be evaluated in using appropriate techniques some kinds of rewards have to be offered on the basis of results of appraisal and the performance of employees according to matching model this process is totally dependent on the human resource development procedures and programs of the organization it is believed that the whole of human resource management is a cyclic process which every function is interdependent hence value of each function is very identical for exceeding the organizational objectives in matching model it tries to encapsulate all key functions of human resource management and to utilize in a more comprehensive manner therefore the underlying ideology of this model could be termed as descriptive theory of human resource management then now we discuss the next model which is multiple role model of human resource management first we see its introduction in the late 1907 a good friend and human resource buddy of mr chong from his packaging division head office recommended him to buy a human resource management book it was written by professor dave in 1997 human resource champions the next agenda for adding value and delivering results published by harvard business school press now the introduction of multiple role model during the time during that time it was a highly recommended human resource management here the word i is used this word i is used by the developer of this role model it became one of the many books that were used as reference for most of mba assignments in summary the author and in his book there are options for human resource roles these options are strategic partner change agent administrative experts employee champions very first here is strategic partners 
in strategic partners help to ensure the success of business strategies by aligning human resource and business strategies we talk about change agent it means that managing transformation and change and ensuring capacity for change if we discuss about administrative experts it means building an efficient infrastructure if we discuss about employee champion it means listening and responding to employees increasing employee commitment and capability then we see strategic or long term strategic what are strategic partners human resource is a major contributor to business strategy design human resource strategies to align with business objective consultation in the development of the organization's values mission business planning member of management team contributing to business decisions participates in hoshin process leads efforts on ceo people hoshin participates in business task force for example iso 9000 workforce planning skills assessment succession planning diversity retraining then the last point for strategic partner is foster systems thinking focus if we see regarding the change agent human resource partner with line managers to lead and facilitate change what are its key points change management facilitation consulting for increased organization effectiveness what what is organization effectiveness means assessment diagnosing contracting action planning evaluation follow up organization design then comes system process design restructuring reengineering then comes competency analysis then comes long range team management development then we go to the process and people in administrative expert human resource provide more service better quality and greater accessibility resulting in lower cost and increased customer satisfaction wages review requisition tracking application sourcing interview benefits programs or delivery reclassification or promotion database maintenance and transaction processing new program introductions data reporting and analysis classroom training delivery interviewing logistics employee champions human resource facilitates measures and improves the quality of management and teamwork champion organization value facilitate employee service promote inclusive environment promote work life balance management coaching communication communication engagement with employees investigation of open door issues performance evaluation review and the last point in employee champion is correct corrective actions with employees and managers now we see a flow sheet diagram for the multiple role model of human resource management on the top on the top it is long term and on the short there or end in the bottom it is short term in the long term regarding the process management of strategic human resources and in the long term regarding people management of transformation and change in the short term regarding process it is management of the administration of the organization and in the short term regarding people it is management of employees